Butch Cassidy, we've been friends for a couple of years. It's been a real honor, but you've, you've never told me how it started, man. What, what was the first song that made you sit up and listen? Oh, man. The first song that made me sit up and listen for myself? Yeah. Oh, that's a great question. Uh, I think the first song that made me sit up and listen, I think it was called You Tonight. Well, it all started off, of course, with uh, my cousin, uh, Nate Dog, And uh, we want to send a lot of prayers out for him right now. He's going through a little tight situation. But yeah. um, I was working with him on his project. I, I think it was called G-Funk Classics Volume 1 and Volume 2. The first song that I actually was on that was released before the G-Funk Classics was a Daz Dillinger record. It was called, uh, I think it was called Retaliation, Revenge, and Get Back. It was called Riding High. How does faith play into uh, what you do, how you do it, what, what your expectations are, anticipations, how you take disappointment, you know? Where's, where is faith for you? Well, I was, I was raised, uh, I was raised up in the church, and, and it's all through my life, that's just what I was taught, that God and Jesus Christ and trust in God and believe and all your dreams will come true and as long as you do right in life. Well, I hooked up with Demiza when I was working on, uh, I was doing a song, Corrupt had called me, he wanted me to do a little feature on a song with him. I think the song was called Bitches or something and Demiza had uh, produced the track. We decided to, you know, come together and just start working and doing music ourselves. And it turns out, you know, that worked out pretty good. And we've been out here and we did the Back Before You Lonely record. And we cut the record called Cruising, and that was, was a smash hit. Can you tell your fans why, you know, just like we all know, and, you know, we read on the blogs and everything else, the magazines, you know, you're working on something, it's coming, and then we don't hear what's going on. What's, uh, you've been hitting some roadblocks, you know, some legal ones. Um, you know, will you share that with us? What's, what's happening? Oh, uh, yeah, well, a couple of the, the main roadblock that I hit that kind of set me back was was the situation with Nate Dogg. I mean, that was a big family stress. So, you know, I, I've been really trying to deal with that and focus yeah, in sure. and concern from him and, and just worrying about what's going on with him, and that set me back. But And then I ran into some legal problems with the IRS, you know. that I mean, I got a court date coming up in September, and I'm innocent. You know, so Butch Cassidy is going to be free and, and still doing the music that y'all know and love. And then the first, the album is called First and Last because I want my fans to know that Butch Cassidy, you know, he started off as just a guy pretty much doing hooks and just hip hop thing. But there's more to the artist than just hooks and things. And it started off in 1999. And now it's 2009. And I think a 10-year run was long enough for Butch Cassidy. So I'm going to give my fans, and I'm sorry for the delay. I hope y'all, you know, find some love in your heart, and, you know, some kindness to understand what I was going through. And forgive me. But I'm going to give them the album that they deserve. And that's why I called it First and Last, because it's going to be the first record from Butch Cassidy. And also it's going to be the last, because this was the life that Butch Cassidy chose, and now it's time to put it to rest. I'm gonna change up and come out with new styles and new different music. My other project, other than First and Last, I'm doing a record right now called Black and Brown with my buddy Spirit, a new artist that's coming up. He's a Latino cat, you know, he got a nice little flow, so we putting something together. It's got like 13 or 14 songs on it. Uh, we got features by uh, Snoop, we got Down, uh, we got uh, Primes on a track, we got production by Demiza, Focus, um, Fingers, and just uh, so many other producers. And you, you producers, forgive me if I forgot your names because my mind's so cluttered right now. But it's a hot record. And the single will be coming out like in another month. So I just want y'all to check, check out for it. And it's just, it's called Black and Brown. And I know you're going to love it.